You like a rabbit going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> smashing into <laughs> <in> your <pool. laughs> Hey guys from the internet and all that, and ladies too, don't forget about them. This is Rep Scallion's Report again, and today we're going to talk about meat. Meat! That's your <laughs> turn now. Meat. <laughs> we're in consensus. <laughs> that meat is a word. Yes. <laughs> yes. <coughs> we will not be talking about mead, however. So, let's get this started. No matter how delicious it may be. Meat to mead, they go so well together. They do. They do. They do. So, <laughs> what's your favorite meat? <sighs> Probably bacon. Although bacon's a way of preparing meat, so I would have to say pork, because pork yes. from bacon. Actually, I, I, alligator's I, pretty good, too. I, I've all, I had it one time, but I remember being so... No, shark meat. I had shark meat when I was very young, and that stuff is delicious. I think it's like actually illegal to eat shark now, <laughs> but at the time, it was so awesome. We'll get back to shark stuff. What's your favorite meat? If I said human flesh, would that be kind of creepy? <laughs> to sell. No. Um, it's the sweetest meat of them all. Man, I was going to say bacon, <laughs> but... Uh, I think we have to exempt bacon because it's the easiest choice. It's the perfect choice. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. a given. If, right. if, okay, bacon. aside from bacon, because obviously I think bacon is everyone's, one's, like you said, mm -hmm. um, I'd probably say... Like, uh, well, beef, like steaks, flamin' mm -hmm. you know. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But, yeah. All right. Mine personally would also probably have to be beef because it can be prepared raw, like carpaccio. I think I'm getting that right. Maybe I think it's carpaccio. Right. I don't know. <laughs> but that's my favorite. I eat it raw all the time. Yes, he does. So. <laughs> I've witnessed it. I've seen it a hundred times. Have you ever ate raw meat? No. Have you ever ate raw meat? Completely raw? Yeah. Probably, but not intentionally. Yeah, yeah, same here. <laughs> not, not intentionally ever. But, I eat know. my steaks uh, medium rare, so... Yeah. Not that it shows or anything. Yeah. Well, does it make a difference if you have it medium rare? Or steaks just open? delicious. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I guess if you eat a lot of red meat, it's... Like, I mean, look at Texas. I love Texas. They got big steaks. Now let's yeah. talk about big meat. people. I don't know. I'm trying to make fat from food. Never Everything mind. is bigger in Texas. <laughs> we get it. Okay, so we all like to eat meat, but what about how it's prepared? What about slaughterhouses? What about why aren't we thinking about the animals? Tell me about that. Because uh, it's too horrifying. <laughs> like if you know about it, then you think like, what if animals actually feel pain? And then you see slaughterhouse footage of. Like something you gets throat cut and you're just like, huh. Or when they pick up turkey and slam it on a wall. I, I think may, mostly because we don't want to think about it because it's almost like a cosmicism or something where the more you think about how horrifying it is, the more you just lose your mind. Like, if you think to yourself, man, I'm completely alone in this huge, huge universe and no one cares. If you get that thought in your head and that grows out like a seed into a massive tree, then, then you just go crazy. That's my personal theory. Is that we don't because it's too hard to think about. Really? Are you as cynical? See, a lot of people don't know I'm actually part of PETA. That, that stands for uh, People Eating Tasty Animals. Oh, yeah. It's an organization uh, who doesn't give a shit. And all we do is eat meat. In no, a commercial, are they like, Hear the arms of an angel. Well, here's how I look at it. Look at... 300 years ago, before all these factories and stuff were produced. Yeah. People went out, you know, some, some I don't know the details of how they do in slaughterhouses, <laughs> but I think a, a cutthroat is a little quicker than, you know, shot with an arrow, running through the woods, bleeding out. Yeah. You know? But I think they, they cut their throat, too, because, I mean, if you look at even, like, Old Testament stuff, they mention, like, well, yeah, once you catch the deer, throat and, you know. But if you shoot a deer, yeah, that's true, yeah. you gotta still catch it and then, you know, take it out of its misery. Yeah. Or put it out, whatever, how you want Either way, yeah. yeah. It's a slower process. So what I'm yeah. saying is, you can't be like, oh, mankind's horrible. It's like, dude, mm. we've been killing animals for hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of years. This is true. But I think now it's, it's at such a bigger scale. It's because like people crazy. are noticing these things. Before, it's like, oh, I finally got food on my plate. Now it's like, oh, where'd this food come from? Who cares? Eat a burger and shut up. 
on that topic, first I'd just like to say my favorite animal is steak. But <laughs> oh yeah, I've ever seen wild steak running. <laughs> yeah, all the time. The Indians killed most of them. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Let's say we don't care about animals. What do we care about the hygienics of our meats? What if people are going around chopping off pig heads with chainsaws that are rusty or something? How do we... Could you... you I'll let you answer that, then I've got another question. You mean... Do you eat pig neck? Because if I'm eating ham off the ass, that's nowhere near the chainsaw blade. I don't care. <laughs> Well, if they're doing the chainsaw, and they get, like from the ass to the head. Or we watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I mean, well, didn't didn't we uh, know a guy who once worked at a slaughterhouse? If he used a katana, remember that whole story? From you and I mutually knew of someone who would boast about using a katana. On a, Are we referring to who I think we're referring to? I think so. Yes. Who will not? Be I don't believe that <laughs> these stories. If that's what I'm thinking of. I I'm just saying it. a katana smooth and sharp as it would be, is probably not the most hygienic of instruments. Uh, I don't know, I think it's again one of those things does, most people don't Does the person about. we're talking about despise Walmart? Yes. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, <coughs> but I'm going to say, like I said before, I'm going to totally steal your moment. I think it's one of those things we don't think about because the more we think about it, the more we actually have to either do something or accept it. Okay, okay. That's hot, that's hot. Next question. <laughs> There, I don't know, unless you have something more to add. So, my rebuttal to that is, I don't want to sound heartless, but no, I think I, I could stand in a slaughterhouse and eat a burger while I'm watching my future food prepared. What if it's screaming in English, Help! Help me! You can stop this! Just eat a damn salad! Oh! Okay, now right there. Could either of you see yourselves, or how long do you think you would last as a vegetarian? I could do it. I've gone about two weeks not eating red meat, and uh, although I did start feeling like a little more, uh, I don't want to say healthier, but just less sluggish, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Probably less weighed down. Or yeah, it's, or yeah I want to say less weighed down, Yeah, but... You can only do so much. I mean, when you say vegetarian, are we talking vegan? Fish? Or like, Let's say what's the level? How extreme? Are just you? not meat. You can still eat, say byproducts of animals like eggs, but not the meat. What about fish? Does that count? That counts. Yes. So I can eat fish? No, you cannot eat fish. Oh, no. well, screw that. But you no. can eat fish. No, fish eggs would be still no. Well, that's a good question. Does caviar count as fish byproduct or yeah, fish? I read. I read an article actually. Well, uh, eggs is like chicken eggs is the same as. The caviar. Yes, but there's no live chicken. There was an article published not too long ago, uh, somewhere on the internet, talking about how they basically have to get caviar. I believe it was caviar talking about how they basically have to rape the fish. Like, the, the process of actually getting and processing caviar is so disgusting that if you look into it, it's like worse than veal. Like, people go on about how horrible it is, how they get veal to be the way it is, but with f caviar, it's much more like they get the fish pregnant. And basically force it to give birth and kind of not give birth, but I mean, they. It's. I wish I could find the article. If I find the article, maybe we'll provide a link, but caviar is pretty disgusting, is my point. But no one ever thinks about fish, because, you know, no one pets a fish. I mean, you know. Whoa, 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 speak for yourself, all right? <laughs> Mr. Me and Mr. Bubbles had a nice relationship with us four. I'd be like, hi, Mr. Bubbles. And, get, and it's like, put me back in the bowl. <laughs> it's like yeah. water. <laughs> I'm suffocating. Oh. like a fish out of water. Okay. See if the viewers know what this means. So. Let's get to that time, folks. Yes. A little fast one. Um, personally, I've also gone a certain amount of time not eating meat. I didn't really notice a difference, but when I started eating meat again, my teeth started to hurt. That was just about it. Huh. That's weird. Um... When you have like tear apart steaks, uh, yeah, true. It takes it's a lot tougher. Yeah. yeah. Well, those, yeah. eat as much raw meat as you can. That's my last word. What are you two's last words? Is for people who go out and hunt just to hunt, just for the sport. To me, I I don't know. I just it's like if you're gonna kill a deer, eat the meat. Like me, I love venison. I don't mm. hunt because I don't have the patience for it. Yeah. But Overall, I don't have a problem eating meat. It's it's probably much healthier not eating meat, but 
I, I'm sorry. I, I got to have me a steak once in a while. Yeah. For me, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things where, yeah, I try not to think too much about. If we're to think too much about and think about... The... My phone! <laughs> <No>! <laughs> if think about Tyler's phone, then, uh... And he's supposed to be the professional one. <laughs> My bad. Well, here's, a, here's a blooper. There's a bleeper of a blooper. If I were to think about uh, my thoughts on eating meat, I don't think there's anything necessarily morally wrong with it. Unless one day we find a way to actually communicate with animals, then it'll be the most terrifying thing ever to happen to mankind, I think. If you can actually talk to a cow, it's being led to a slaughterhouse like, hey, where are we going now, buddy? You who raised me from birth, this is going to be great. You know, that, that changes We're going to go see the rabbits, George? We're going to go see the bunnies, George? <laughs> yes, yes, Bessie, we're going to see <laughs> like to always leave the viewers with a good image in their mind. And with that we'll leave you. A picture this of bacon. Bacon. Yes. Bacon. Good old bacon. That You're talks to you. Friend. And it asks for forgiveness and <laughs> mercy and it's just delicious. Please eat me quickly. Because we all know bacon gets its saltiness from tears. <laughs> so this yeah, has been Rep Scallion's report on meat. Meat on Rep Scallion's report. Rep Scallion's report on meat. Meat. Our meat. Our meat. Meat our meat. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Check out other stuff.